So that's my new tune. It's a part of an album that I've been working on secretly for a long time, which is called Leela, which is, a, I believe, a Sanskrit word meaning play or like divine play or the concept of play as not being a frivolous, childish thing, but a fun, genuine, playful encounter with reality that's dynamic, yeah, type of idea thing. Anyway, yeah, so this particular song is called Child's Play, and it's pretty much the simplest song out of any of the ones in the album. Some of them are a little bit more obtuse and crazy harmonically. There's even going to be a collective improvisation, a couple of them with me and my band, which is super... <laughs> I'm really, really excited to show you guys, but I've, I've learned my lesson announcing things ahead of time. Uh, so I've just been gradually working on this, and it's taking shape, and it's at nine songs right now, and so I'm probably going to be releasing it pretty soon. But anyway, yeah, so this tune, I'm going ahead and putting the sheet music in the description just for free for anyone who wants just the, the lead sheet. It's super simple. It's really fun to play. I think it's fun to play. So uh, I hope you guys mess around with it. But yeah, harmonically, it's literally, it starts out with just like a classic gospel thing where you kind of like, you know, C, four of four, which of course becomes minor four. But instead of going, um, you know, like to C major, back to one, we kind of uh, do a jazzy thing, and instead go to three, three, six, two, five, one, and then that's just thirds, and then a voice exchange here. That's a common thing. I don't use the F sharp there, but you know, it's just, you know, super, super common thing. Um, th uh, that also reminds me of the, the national anthem. <laughs> uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> but anyway, but and then uh, the quote-unquote B section, although I wouldn't really call it a B section because it's pretty simple. It's just like C major, D minor 7, right? E flat major 7, D flat major 7, kind of darkening the modal mixture. But then here's the fun thing. I like this one too, uh, here. So we go from D flat major 7, but I throw in, because I, I want to get to A minor, right? Do that thing. But we're, we're like at D flat right here. <laughs> so I thought um, this little chord C uh, add two or C, you know, with a nine on it can so easily slip into an E dominant seven sharp nine, you know, or augmented, however you want to, you know, label that, doesn't matter. But, so, which I kind of like. And this chord too, that chord, that transition chord. I don't even know why it works. It's just because like these two notes slip and the voice letting works out, but that's literally like <laughs> such a dissonant chord. It's like C C over G, you know, C in first person with a flat 13 on it. So you get the flat nine into the, uh, but it does resolve, but interestingly not by uh, oblique motion, but like contrary motion. So yeah, I wasn't really thinking that much about it consciously when I wrote it, it just kind of worked out. But it's kind of interesting to look after it. So yeah. I guess McDonald's is slightly different. I think that I think that's what McDonald's is about. Yeah, so the solo section is really fun because I just made it that progression, which is I'm telling you, it's such a fun progression to play over. It's just C, B flat, F, F minor six, E minor seven, A minor seven, D minor seven, and then F over G, aka G sus. Right? Jesus. I just, I love the way that that E, e minor, or sorry, F minor, like, you know, the melodic minor thing that you, everybody does all the time because it's so beautiful. That whole complex, which also gives rise to seven flat. Um, yeah, I don't need to get into the theory of it, but I just love the way that the F minor, six, that D becomes the seventh. So it's a commonality and then it just slips down 
but it's kind of weird because F minor six is super dark and then E minor brightens it up a little bit. But I don't know, just something about that. Because you you so expected to go, but instead of it's. And you, of course you could do like E, which would be beautiful as well, you know, like. Uh, but there's just something about just a plain ass E minor seven. I just love F over G too. play like pretty much anything with the dominant in the bass but anyway analysis and stuff aside that's a little demo <laughs> forget my messy playing i literally just wrote this tune like three uh three days ago but yeah so I'm, I'm super excited about this new album that's coming out and i can't wait to show it to you guys and i'll all definitely be releasing it on spotify and stuff so i'll let you guys know but yeah so this is called child's play it's one of the songs that's going to be on the album and uh i'm giving you a little sneak peek and i also um like i said put uh the sheet music for the lead sheet for free in the description so feel free to play around with it it's it's, it's pretty fun peace <laughs> 